Hagar started as an idea of a few Jewish and Arab friends that wanted their kids to to get together. In Israel, the, the culture is a very segregated culture, so they wanted their kids to meet. And from this idea of few parents to have 200 and almost 50 children, Jewish and Arab friendship, uh, knowledge about one another, the numbers, uh, is, is a very big success. It's a lot of things, and it's a lot of things. And the easiness of it starts with the children. When you know someone, you're not afraid of him. If you're not afraid of him, you don't hate him, you don't demonize him. With an open mind, they get to learn about others and befriend them. In every classroom, there are two teachers. One is Jewish and one is Arab. They are co-teaching. They are not translating one another. In the beginning, it was a little difficult to divide the time for the class, how we want to do the class, how we want to do the class. مع الوقت صار الاشي اكثر سهوله صرنا صديقات يعني صاحبات كثير قويه نحن بشوط اخر تراين اخر عبده كشر طول ماشي كشر قويه كثير بين الطلاب والعرب واليهود بغض النظر عن قوميتهم او بغض النظر عن عن دينهم if i need help with something i'll give a call to a parent and it doesn't matter if the parent is arab or jewish it's a friend of my kids and that's it יש אנשים שיהודים וערבים שהם לא אוהבים אחד את השני. הם חושבים ש, שכל אחד, כל אחד מהם הם יותר טובים מהשני. אבל פה בבית ספר זה שונה. אנחנו ערבים נגיד מרגישים שאנחנו והם שווים. ואני חושב שגם הם. The dream is that other group of parents and maybe the Ministry of Education will want to duplicate this success all over Israel. If we have it in more schools, it will become more natural for the citizens of Israel to live together. Maybe in 10 years, in 15 years, the discussion between Jewish and Arab people will be easier.